Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Game Dev Tycoon. We're going to be developing our game called Hijack, which is an, an action game on an aeroplane where people are trying to hijack the plane and you've got to stop them. Um, it's going to be aimed at everyone, it's a large game, it's an aeroplane, an action casual, it's going to be released on our own game console with our latest game engine and it's an MMO. So let's start the development. We're going to use the new graphics engine Mark 7. It's going to cost us 10 million to develop this game, but we have plenty of income from the game box as well, which we're also paying for um, to keep on top of repairing the consoles, which we did in the last episode. So we just need to keep our eye on that backlog, and I imagine this number will go up over time as more and more people buy the console. Uh, but let's have a look here. We are doing an action and casual game, which means we want to put a lot of focus on the gameplay, pretty much nothing on story and quests, and the engine needs to be decent as well. So something like that. I think a tad more on the engine is good. Now as I discussed in the previous episode what works best is having uh, more of the smaller options here I think. So those two right there except we can only select one so we'll go with simple cutscenes. Um, but for example here I've chosen all of the cheaper ones so if we drag up the engine just a touch and maybe remove basic physics can we get away with that? So a little bit more on engine and we can. And then if we go down to gameplay, you can see here, we can actually add the virtual reality heads there. I researched that. However, this seems to get more points just focusing on the smaller ones. So Luke Harper is going to do that. Sergio is doing the engine. That's fine. And Jennifer is doing the story and quest, which isn't a lot of work, but it will do anyway. So we want to put our multipliers on Sergio and Luke for this one. I found that works well as well. The couple of games that I've developed recently off camera, I've been using the multipliers on those people when they're working on that specific topic and that seems to work really well. And um, We've got some hype coming in, we're going to start this off with a tiny bit of um, advertising, I don't think that's going to make any difference at all. <laughs> but let's hope that it helps. So the second set of sliders, action casual, pretty much everything on level design, nothing on dialogues and not so much on artificial intelligence. So Dialogues has got that. Level design, can we get something extra in there? We can. That's going to be too much, so we won't select that. And then Artificial Intelligence, can we get self-learning in there? Now I know that that's going to be better to select the two rather than the one. However, for this game, I want to put the self-learning intelligence in there. That's going to be interesting. Uh, but who's going to do what? Sebastian Todd is going to be working on that. However, I think if Sergio can do that, Nope, he's going to be overworked, so we'll put so, uh, sorry, Sebastian on that. So Philip is going to be doing the level design, that's cool. That's pretty much everything there seems okay to me. So in the last set of sliders, it's probably going to be myself, Paul, and Jennifer doing the three different sliders. Um, so who needs the multipliers? It is Sebastian and Philip. So they are sitting up the top here. And now they've got their multipliers, and we'll use these three on the last one right there. Okay, and the hype is going up. It is time. It is time to do some large campaign marketing, and it's a shame that E3 isn't coming out of this time because this is probably going to be our best game yet. You know, I've done a ton of research, um, not just a ton of research. Sorry, a ton of training on my guys, so they're going to produce more points. We're also new engine, new game console. It's just ticking all the right boxes. A new combination of game as well, and good management. I hope. <laughs> so anyway. And um, with this being a casual game, we want to focus on the sound, not so much the world design, so something like that should do. Uh, but we're going to need more focus on the graphics, it looks like, so drag these down a touch more. Okay, now we can do graphics mark 7. Now I wonder if, I wonder if, the person who's doing this, if they have better skill points, can we have more focus on other things than they get the 3D graphics done? Um, so we might. this might not be a fair test because I have zero up here and if we drag someone on with higher points, um, for example Luke, then he might be overworked. But no, it would seem it's exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, I would actually put Paul Reed on sound, I do believe. Yeah, I would, I would do that. Okay, so we'll do it that way around there. And then well designed just needs something cut off like that. We'll actually leave in rich backstory. That sounds better than day and night cycle. Um, so everything there is done. Let's double check. Yep. And the hype is coming in. It is time for some marketing. We want this thing to do as well as it can. And so the hype isn't as high as we've had it before, although it is still continuously going up, which is good. 
and the game box management seems fine. If anything, we could probably drag down the budget of that a little bit, so I think what we would do is drag this one up to a million per month, get the AAA games rolling in. Well, maybe that'll be one of the next games we develop. Okay, look, I'm trying to drag it over here and it won't let me. And um, we're going to put the budget down to about 800 and see if we can keep on top of it. So we're doing bugs at the moment. Um, no need for marketing, really. Forgot to use the multipliers. Sorry. <laughs> totally skipped my mind, that did. And that really would have helped with the design and tech points at the end there. But we're still hitting a record, which is good. Makes it easier to break next time, I guess, if it's slightly lower. And so getting those extra points. Let's get rid of those two bugs. And I think we're good. Nope, one more bug got in. Typical. New record on both. Got all our multipliers down. Didn't get a trend match. Our 3D graphics has leveled up to level 2. Let's release this game. And while we're waiting for that to come out, we will do contract work. Contract. Contract work as always. <laughs> so actually the big contract was sitting right there at the beginning. And now the game convention rolls around. Let's just do a large one anyway. Hopefully it'll help with sales. Okay, our newly released game Hijack came in. And that is not as high as I hoped. Sevens. Not really sure what I got wrong there. 7.25. It should sell. It should sell and make enough money. And it's an MMO as well, so we really want to get a higher rating on an MMO because a lot more sales over time. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be selling that well, does it? Kind of hard to tell, actually. Okay, there we go. Let's do another contract. Get some more research points. And let's just watch the sales come in here as well. So I thought having our own console would have made a huge boost to the amount of money we were making, which... Not really sure if it has or not. Okay, 1.8 million people, that's cool. Does that boost the sales of our game? Yeah, it would appear... No, it didn't really, did it? Okay, never mind. Let's do some more contract work. Let's try and pick out the more expensive ones. So we get more research points that way, there we go. And so we have 620 million. How do we see how much of the game box... Oh, we can take it off the market. That is not something I want to do. And I accidentally clicked on the multiplier there. I don't know if you saw it. Uh, but I guess what we're going to do now is another round of training. And then we'll probably develop another game. Okay, so a couple of ideas that I just want to check out. We're going to do product management course of speed. And we're actually just going to hit the multiplier there and see if that makes any difference. Speed 18. I don't think I've seen one that high. 17. Okay, wow, look at that. Multipliers work on uh, on training for sure there. Okay, that's cool to see. That makes a huge difference. So I think everyone needs to get their multipliers up right now, which costs 50 research points and 2 million credits. So we will give that to our guys at the top here. And we're going to run out of our research points fast here. So I think the people at the bottom will just do a regular round of training. And then we'll start doing some specialization as well. But let's see, I think product management cord with a mult cord course with a multiplier there is gonna do really well. Wow, that makes a huge difference, doesn't it? And we'll do another one here. So speed, start training, multiplier. Wow, if I'd have known that earlier, <laughs> I would use those a lot more. Uh, but let's get Paul Reed. I was gonna do the um the max boost thing. He needs seven hundred on each. So his tech is way behind. Oh, it's or so if we put him on a design course, then he'll be able to catch up. And myself, I need to do a little bit of training. We're going to do product management course and use the multiplier. And yeah, everyone is looking good. So we can put these two on a course as well now that they've got their multipliers done. So what does Phil Philip need? We'll put him on a speed one. Put the multiplier there. And we'll put We'll put Sebastian on design. So game design course. Like that. And what do we do now? I guess we have to wait for everyone. We'll send Luke on vacation. I think we've done all of the contract work we can do. Look, we've got a short one there that we can do between a few of us. I'm not really going to get enough research points there, are we? Hmm. 
Anyway, I'll continue doing the contract work and squeeze out as many research points as I can, and then we'll probably move on to developing a new game. Okay, what we're going to do next is develop an expansion pack for our game. Uh, it's going to be part of an experiment, and then I realise the next step to take is to do the triple A games. So if we go and have a look at the platform right here, you can see we have the highest market share now. However, I was wondering if if we release another game, will the market share go up here? Because if we have a look over at the game box and the hijack on the side, um, the game box was selling a lot when hijack was. So if we do an expansion pack and we see an increase in sales on there, then we know that we can couple the two together, which is interesting. So by developing games on our own console, we'll make a lot more money. Um, but also it'll be interesting to see if the market share comes up, because I don't think there's going to be any other games or anything getting released now. So we might be able to dominate it with our own console. Um, but what we want to do is go and develop that expansion pack. So it will be for the game that we just created, which means all the sliders are going to be pretty much the same. So what I'll be doing is probably adjusting it slightly, trying to get a better score with this one than we did with the last one. Um, so we're going to pick our game engine. Everything there is the same. Um, so this will be called the More Planes. <laughs> that is not the correct spelling. There we go. Wrong planes. Okay. Let's start the development. There go the initial bubbles. And our guys have been trained up a lot, and also with multipliers. And I'm actually going to save it up this time around, because I want to um, really get a boost on the next wave of training that we do. So these were the sliders that we had last time. And I think I maybe went wrong here. Maybe we should put a little more focus on the gameplay. Uh, but actually that's adjusted perfectly for the engine. We'll leave it the same. That'll do good, okay. So let's start our development. And there go all the bubbles flying around. <laughs> Looks good. And actually, do you know what I think we can do over here, by the way? Oh, let's not do that. Let's try and drag the screen across, but it's going to derp around on me. And now we have to do the game convention. That's actually perfect timing for once. So let's get the large booth. Drag this over here. And we want to slide the budget down to about 600. Let's see if we can get away with that. And also we're going to do our own bit of marketing just to get the uh, hype started before the, uh, the game convention. So everything here is the same. This time we're not going to do self-learning AI. We're going to choose those two and drag that down a touch. So we're going to focus on the level design. And just need to check that the right person is doing the right job here. I think everything there is correct, so we're going to click OK. And actually we're going to boost up our AAA game, so we need to get further along with that. So we're going to go up to 1.5 per month. And it gets a little crazy when you've got all these different things on the screen going around. I've noticed the game gets a little bit laggy. Hopefully that doesn't affect the video too much. And so it's game convention time. 1.9 million, a new record, excellent. And we are number one, no surprise, and the hype is going up a lot. Okay, and so for the last thing, what we wanted to do here, I think everyone's got it right. I think I want to bring up the world design a little bit more, and so we have to sacrifice the sound for that. So that's about the most we're going to get out of that. Can we add one of these? Yes, we can. That's good to know. Okay, I think that's great. Whoa, there was a load of big numbered bubbles going up to the top then, I saw. And look at those design points, they are through the roof. They are insane, and we're not even using the multipliers. If we were, they would be really ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so time to get rid of the bugs. We had almost, well, we had over 300 bugs. I've noticed that Hijack has started picking up in sales after the convention, which is good. So we're still making a profit off of that. The hype is at 360. Probably should have done a bit more marketing, but it seems like the game convention is the best way to get the hype up. Okay, so now it's time for our, our little wait around while we get the bubbles just a little bit higher. Looks good. Technology at 1200. There we go, we're going to release the game. So a new record for design. That's the only thing we get. We got leveled up on our graphics though and sound as well. Let's release that game. Okay, so the reviews have come in. That looks quite low. 
six. Uh, can we get higher? Seven. Can we get an eight? <laughs> no, it's another six. And an eight. So that eight really pulled it back at the end there because I don't think that done too well overall. But now it is time for us to do training, although I'm just going to do a quick contract. When I say quick, I mean one of the big ones, which they go by fairly quickly as it is. And some of them can pay quite a lot. I've had ones that pay like half a million. So we're going to do movies. And we're just going to keep an eye on the sales. Well, look how small that is. So this expansion pack has really reboosted the sales of our game. And look at that. The game box has gone up a little bit there. I don't know if that's going to continue, that trend. Okay, and that work is done. We're going to do one more quickly. Uh, no, that's the wrong thing. What am I clicking on? So there was another one that paid quite a lot. That one there. So look at these sales. We now have 718 million, 2.1 million fans, and we can now do AAA games. Okay, so we need specialists in different areas to make sure the team does their best. So that's what we're going to focus on next now, okay? Making some specialists. Okay, so that's cool. Just reading through it quickly. Okay, right. Very good. So we have a specialist there. Philip needs to become a specialist. In what exactly, I'm not sure. It also costs us a lot of research points, so we might have to develop another game or a dummy game or an expansion pack or something in between. Uh, but his design and tech is split quite nicely. I'm not sure what that would be best for. I'm thinking level design. Yeah, I think he's going to be our level design guy. Yes, <laughs> I've made up my mind. I was just double checking, double thinking. That's going to do well. And I also want to train myself. We don't have a lot of research points left. Um, I, do, I do graphic, and graphic needs to be quite equal, and I've been focusing on design a little bit there. So while I remember, I want to put myself on a programming course and then hit the multiplier. And now we need to do some more contracts, I guess. I'm going to run out of these soon. There we go, that didn't take long. <laughs> I can breeze through these really quickly, and we're really not getting a lot of research points from doing this anymore as well, I've noticed. Just enough to get us on by. And I think we've got one contract. Now we've got two contracts left. Um, so we're either going to develop a game or a dummy game, or possibly another expansion pack. Why don't we find out if releasing expansion packs back to back really affects anything? I kind of think it will. Yeah, because it's not good to develop the same thing over and over again. Uh, but let's do that last piece of contract work. We're not going to get enough research points to make another specialist. However, our next game engine, sorry, game engine, our next expansion pack would be um, done with a specialist. So I think what I'm going to do is save my game and then we'll try and do an expansion pack. Okay, so I thought I'd do the next expansion pack with the same sliders. I've just been clicking next. Um, so everything's going to be the same. I was tempted to do a AAA game, however it cost 50 million, so I think we'll just continue with this pattern and do a AAA game next time, once we've got some more specialists and more research points. Uh, again, no one is overworked, so I'm just going to click OK. They're the same settings as before. I used a couple of my multipliers, which helped boost the um, score a lot, but then I thought, actually, I want to save those for research at the moment, because we're going to need some really strong staff members to do the AAA games. So there's no trends at the moment, that's fine. And it kind of boosted the game box sales there a little bit, as you can see. And we need to do a bit of marketing now that I remember. <laughs> there we go, large campaign. And soon will be the E3 thing. You can see we can get a booth right there. So actually what we can do is spend at least a month on this last part of the game. And that will really boost the hype. So it starts in the next week, I think. You can see it up here in the top right hand corner. Okay, so the next week is when it starts, I do believe. And everyone needs a vacation by the looks of it. Okay, so there we go, a game convention in year 40 of the game now. Wow, that's really been going on for a long time, hasn't it? Can we get 2 million? No, not quite. So the hype has skyrocketed up to 560, so we just want to get rid of those bugs. And a final bit of polish, although everyone is pretty knackered, so let's just see if we can hit maybe 15,000 on design. Make the most. I think this is our record hype as well, and that appears to be it, so actually we'll just click finish. So no new records, no surprise there though. 3D graphics didn't get leveled up. 
now that we're up to level 3 on that. So a couple of our staff members have got on a raise that sent everyone on a vacation because they are all exhausted after that game. Uh, that might affect the rating a little bit by the way. This happened before didn't it? I didn't really notice them being knackered until right at the end but however the ratings actually look quite good for this. Yeah, 7.5 overall, so that turned out to be a lot better. Note we do not want to fire you, we want to send you on a holiday. <laughs> Very different things. Or not, if you <laughs> if you word it that way. Send you on a permanent holiday. Okay, right, so I am already a specialist, so I'm just going to do some basic training here. I want to get my technology back up to where my design is. So we will start that and we will use a multiplier, which I now can't click on. Oh yes, I named this one more hijackers since the last one was called More Planes. Okay, it's been met with great response. It's boosting back the sales on our MMO game. And people are starting to come back now. So you're already a specialist. It's time to make Sebastian Todd a specialist, I do believe. Um, let's go and train him. Uh, what are we going to do with Sebastian Todd? Artificial Intelligence. I think it's going to be artificial intelligence or maybe actually I'd like to make him an engine specialist and we don't have an engine specialist let's just double check that okay cool so we'll make him an engine specialist and now I don't know what we're going to be doing because we're out of research points but I think that wraps up this episode here so as always thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time